Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's me Javeria Jabi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to discuss reticular endothelial system. So reticular endothelial system is a network of connective tissue fibers which is inhabited by macrophages which are always ready to attack any foreign body and ingest it by the phagocytosis. So this is a very important component of immunity system as it's a system so two types of uh, organs are present in it one is primary lymphatic organs and another one is secondary lymphatic organs primary lymphoid organs are the organs in which the formation of endothelial cells takes place and um, the secondary lymphoid organs are the organs in which the function of endothelial cells takes place the primary lymphoid organs include uh, thymus and bone marrow while the secondary lymphoid organs include um, lymph nodes, spleen, tonsils, liver, uh, paired patches in the small intestine and uh, alveolar cells in the lungs. So reticular endothelial cells are the functional uh, unit cells of this system. These are further classified into the two types. One is monocyte and the second one is macrophages. For the monocytes are the premature endothelial cells which are present in primary lymphoid organs and macrophages are the are the mature functional um, endothelial cells which are present in the secondary lymphoid organs so macrophages are basically the uh, mature functional um, reticular endothelial cells so so these macrophages are further categorized into the two types one is fixed macrophages and another one is uh, mobile macrophages fixed macrophages are the cells whose function are specified and restricted to a specific organ while, while the mobile macrophages are the cells which regulate in all parts of our body and provides immunity at uh, any uh, site of injury or cut blood vessel or cut skin. So, first discuss the fixed macrophage. The fixed macrophages are the macrophages which are present in a specific organ. So, these cells are given different specific names according to the organs in which they are present. Like in the liver, these cells are called cupfer cells. In the spleen, uh, and in the uh, lymph nodes and in the um, bone marrow these cells are called reticular cells in the lungs these are called alveolar cells in the uh, central nervous system these are called microglia, microglia cells in the meninges of uh, central nervous system these are called meningocytes and um, in the subcutaneous tissues of the skin these are called histiocytes then move to the uh, mobile macrophages. The mobile macrophages are the macrophages which provide immunity at the site of infection or uh, where the um, skin or blood vessel is cut. So these macrophages include neutrophils or sometimes the monocytes develop into the macrophages in the bloodstream and provide immu immunity at the uh, site of infection. Sometimes in, in the case of very severe injury, the fixed um, macrophages in the lymphatic tissues move to the blood vessels and then travel to the uh, site of injury and provides immunity. Now understand the function of reticular endothelial system. The, the basic function of reticular endothelial system is the destruction of any foreign body like bacterium, virus or any um, other foreign body by the process of phagocytosis. And another basic function is destruction of old red blood cells. First understand the process of phagocytosis understand the basic function of reticular endothelial system at the cellular level the main organization is like this the central artery is present the around the central artery the lymphatic sheath is present and in the lymphatic sheath some lymphatic follicles are present the macrophages are present maybe in the lymphatic sheath or maybe in the bloodstream when any foreign particle enter into the bloodstream the macrophage attack it and ingest it by the phagocytosis so understand the process of phagocytosis when any foreign particle uh, like bacterium enters into the bloodstream the macrophage attracted by the chemotaxis and uh, ingested by the phagocytosis after phagocytosis this particle in the macrophage is called phagosome the lysosome in the uh, macrophage fuse with the phagosome and form phagolysosome the lytic enzymes in the lysosome for example proteolytic enzymes and lipase enzymes digest this for foreign particle and then the remaining undigested material is removed out of the cell by exocytosis. This undigested waste particle acts as an antigen in the body. Acts as an antigen in the uh, bloodstream. Now when a foreign particle enters the macrophage 
digested by the phagocytosis and antigen is produced this antigen then stimulate the helper t lymphocytes in the blood stream the helper t lymphocytes then activates the t lymphocytes the t lymphocytes are present in the lymphatic sheath the t lymphocytes into the uh, in the lymphatic sheath then activates the b lymphocytes into the lymphatic follicles b lymphocytes be active ho, ho jayenge then b lymphocytes activate the plasma cells in the lymphatic sheath then plasma cell activates the antibody in the blood stream and these antibodies break down the antigen and neutralizes the harmful effect of anti uh, antigen this is all the um, immunity mechanism of reticular endothelial system at the cellular level so the functions of reticular endothelial cell are uh, number 1 phagocytosis is which you have been understand then present antigen to the blood stream well, when the macrophage engulf the foreign particle and uh, digested by the phagocytosis and present the antigen to the blood stream which in is then stimulates the uh, helper t lymphocytes helper t lymphocytes activate uh, t lymphocytes t lymphocytes activates b lymphocytes b lymphocytes activate plasma cells and plasma cells then produce antibodies and neutralize the harmful effect of antigen when any large bacteria enters into the blood stream the uh, simple lytic enzymes of the lysosomes are unable to destroy these large bacteria so the so the special types of enzymes for example free radicals are secreted from the lysosomes these free radicals include um, superoxides hydrogen peroxide and hydroxide ions these ions then destroy the bacterium easily with the slow diffusion sometimes the tumors which are the normal extra cells are formed into the body so tumor necrosis factors are secreted from the macrophages these are abbreviated as tnf so two types of tnfs are secreted tnf alpha and tnf beta the tnf alpha breaks down uh, the tumor by necrosis and enhance the immunity while the tnf beta uh, breaks down the uh, tumor by necrosis enhance the immunity stimulate the immunity system and stimulates and also stimulates the uh, blood vascular system as circulation in the tumor area is also affected sometimes many large carbon particles and silicon particles came into the lungs by inhalation so during so the alveolar macrophages in the lungs uh, join together and form a capsule around the carbon particle around the large foreign particle and then uh, secrete the lysosomes and digest it very slowly this this arrangement of alveolar macrophages is called giant capsule so um, so this is a reticular endothelial system is a complete uh, homeostatic system is a complete system which maintains homeostasis so for the homeostatic purposes the macrophages also secretes interleukins interleukins are the group of proteins which regulate the immunity system mainly three types of interleukins are include interleukin 1 interleukin 6 and interleukin 12 the interleukin 1 uh, accelerates the production of b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes the interleukin 6 accelerates the production of a uh, b lymphocyte and, and antibodies and interleukin 12 accelerates the production of helper t lymphocytes the macrophages also secretes growth stimulating factors which uh, play a very important role in the preventing of rejection of transplanted tissues into the body by suppressing the immunity system so the, this is all the macrophages do to destroy the foreign particles the macrophages also play very important role in the destruction of old red blood cells when the old rbcs grow old after 120 years of its life span uh, its cell membrane gets very hard and the uh, macrophages in the blood stream secretes lytic enzymes and break down the cell membrane uh, the um, red blood cell after the old red blood cells then burst and release the hemoglobin into the blood stream macrophages in the blood stream then destroy the hemoglobin by phagocytosis thank you so much if this video is helpful for you so much like share and subscribe see you in the next video allah hafiz